Bearing and distance is going to be the focus of our question from Y2018 GC exam paper. And here, we are going to be using the solution to triangles. We are going to be using the sine rule, the cosine rule, and our work is cut out for us. So, let's head over and solve our question together. We have this question on bearing. We are told that a man starts from a point X and walks 285 meters to Y on a bearing of 078 degrees. He then walks this side to a point Z, which is 307 meters from X. We are to illustrate this information on a diagram. So, if we start from our point X and we draw our cardinal coordinate, then an estimate of 078 degrees from the north, because that's where our bearing starts from. On the north, we measure 078. Then the man moves to Y on that bearing on a distance of 285 meters. So it gets to Y. So if we also draw our cardinal point on Y, it's moving south down to point Z. So this is point Z. This is point Z. And we're told that Z is 307 meters away from X. 307 meters away from X. So if we link back to X, that distance is 307 meters. So that's our diagram. Then we have to find the bearing of X from Z. So going to Z, we have to draw a cardinal point and find that bearing also coming from the north on Z. On Z, we want to start from the north and measure the bearing to X. So we have to find that bearing. And then we also to find the distance between Y and Z. We can call that X, small letter X, since it's facing capital letter X. So now, this is interpretation of our question. We can go ahead and see what means we are trying to use to solve them. In question number B1, to find the bearing of X from Z and distance between Y and Z. Now, for the first one, the bearing of X from Z, as shown in red, if you look at the diagram and at point X and point Y, we can notice an alternate angle that at point Y, this angle is also going to be 78 degrees. And the reason is that it is alternate to the angle that is coming from X from the northern side. So angle XYZ is 78 degrees. It is alternate is an angle that is alternate to the bearing of y from x. So we got that as 78 degrees. So we can notice a triangle here in which we can make use of um, the properties of a triangle in trying to solve them. And here we are looking for the angle being shown in blue at point z. Let's call that theta. So we are looking for angle theta. But we know the side that theta is facing. Then we know another angle and the side that that other angle is facing. This is a perfect fit for the sine rule. So you can say sine theta over the side it's facing, which is 285, is equal to sine 78 over the side that 78 is facing, which is 307 meters. So by cross multiplying, our sine theta will be 285 sine 78 divided by 307. So if we use our calculator, 285 sine 78 divided by 307, 0 0.90805. Okay, so our theta is arc sine 0 0.9081. So, ask sign our answer. That's 65.24 degrees. 65.24 degrees. 
So meaning that that angle theta that is included in the triangle is 65.24 degrees. But nobody asks us to find angle theta. We are only asked to find the bearing of x from z. And that bearing was shown in red with that question mark. So if you look at that point, we have angle at a point, and the angle at a point is 360. So the bearing will be 360 minus 65.24. That is because the sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees. So with this, our bearing will be 360 minus 294.76, 294.76. But now we are asked to find it correct to the nearest known number. And even if we are not asked to find it correct to the nearest whole number, normally, bearings are given in three digits. You don't include decimal places in bearing. So we also need to know that in our further questions, bearing is always in three digits. So this bearing, the bearing of X from Z approximately will be 295 degrees. And that is our solution. So now, you can say we want to go ahead to find the distance between y and z, but we know this is angle 78 degrees and this is angle um, 65.24 degrees. So now we're asked to find distance between y and z, which we tag as x initially. Now, again, we can also decide to say we want to evaluate the angle at x in the included triangle, this angle that is being shown in blue, let's call it alpha. We've used theta before, so let's call this alpha. Now, by the principle of the sum of angles of a triangle, if you add the three included angles of the triangle, the sum is going to give us 180 degrees because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, 78 plus 65.24 plus half hour is 180 degrees. So we can evaluate the value of alpha. So this will mean that alpha will be 180 minus 78 plus 65.24. So we can get our alpha if we bring in our calculator. 180 minus 78 plus 65.24 that's 36.76 degrees that, that's alpha now knowing the value of alpha we can go ahead and say that we want to use um, either the sine rule or the cosine rule because um, both can actually simplify the question that we are trying to solve in solving for x. But because we've used the sine rule before, in this case, I would prefer to use the cosine rule. Any one you choose, you can actually use. By the cosine rule, the value of x here, yeah, x squared will be 285 squared plus 307 squared minus 2 multiplied by 285 multiplied by 307 cos alpha. And our alpha is 36 dot census. For understanding of this, you can check our videos on triangles so that you can have a good grasp of the sine rule, the cosine rule, and um, all the other properties of triangles. So, using our calculator to evaluate this, just inputting all this value and still and seven cos that six dot seven six. That will be three five two eight two. So three five x will now be the square root of three thousand thirty five thousand two hundred and eighty dot eight seven. So let's find that square root. The square root of our answer as one hundred and eighty seven dot eight. 187.832. But now we are told that we have to find it correct to the nearest whole number. 
our answer should be correct to the nearest whole number. So that will be approximately equal to 188 meters. And that is our answer. That's all we're going to be having for today is Dave Tooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click on the notification icon, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones, share with your relatives. And together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.